This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow right back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we chased down the pilots and shot them all dead. With the dogs, they were. No, we had to we had to beat them because they were going to uh, tell our plans about us, our pincer movement against the DHC. So let's see if we can get, uh, get to the next destination. Hopefully all of our plans are together. What happened to the enemy pilots? We captured them all. Oh, we captured them. Okay, well, it is a raid team. There are more enemies coming. We need to get the mission started. How much longer to get the main squad prepared? About ten more minutes. Oh, well, that that shouldn't take very long at all. Stop moving. Stop moving as soon as they're ready. Is the decoy squad ready? Shoot, and are the decoys ready? They're ready to go. Emma, this mission is very dangerous. If you want, I can be the decoy squad leader. Kazuki, you have to take Nanjing. Why do I have to take Nanjing? Like, me specifically? Yeah, whatever. My mission is to run away from the enemy. It doesn't suit your style. I guess Kazuki is more of a kind of go-in-first type of thing. That makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, Kazuki's no good at that. Shut up. He just made fun of you in front of Enema. Ah, oh, you can't do that. Let's form the squads. All right, yep. For the second time in the game, we got team select squads again. This time, Emma's leading, and Kazuka leads the secondary one. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, Emma has the easier of the missions out of the two. Um, so if you want people to get more experience or or skills, then have them uh, join Kazuki. But if you want easier ones or whatever, then have uh, or they're already pretty high level as is, maybe have them on this. But uh, uh, I think for this one, I think we're going to give her Marcus for some melee. And I'm trying to decide if I want to have Ryo go, work, go with Kazuki or have it Lee instead. Because uh, Ryogo has the higher unlock skills, but I mean Lee does have uh, um, the uh, does have a uh, you know where everyone shoots everyone at once. The difficulty is like Money Maker and stuff like that, or, or Yoon. Sorry, I keep calling them by their Vonzer names, so not their actual names. Um, I think see he would be good for melee. Then maybe give Dennis for Dennis and Emma for range. Now, I'm trying to remember if it was Yoon who had the missiles, or Lee. I think Lee I gave mainly healing, and Yoon has missiles, so I might have to have her go with uh, Kazuki for... Um, um, so she'll have missiles to give to uh, Lenny, because he doesn't have any item slots. Because Emma has the missiles. I think I gave the missiles to Yoon. Yeah, I think so. So that means we'll put Lee on this group, so yeah, that'll work. And then we'll give Kazuki, Ryogo, Yun, and Lenny. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, good to go. Which makes sense that Kazuki would be given the harder missions, just because of his personality. Although, technically, it doesn't matter by mech, because you could have easily changed Emma from being a missile launcher user to something completely different. That's, the only, that's one of the few bad things about this game, is that certain characters don't have certain... Uh, like skill aptitudes or anything like that so it kind of I get the point is not to make someone pin pigeonholed into a certain play style but I would like it if maybe they would have given each pilot like certain bonuses like oh if they use these types of mechs or if they use items or whatever they get bonuses so it, it promotes certain types of characters being important but in this case it's just if you have the money build however whenever one you want so oh well I mean I still like this game but it's one of the few issues I have Emma, make sure you take care of yourself. Don't worry, I'll be fine. We'll go meet Alyssa together. Why does this sound like something bad's gonna happen? That's a promise. Because when people say stuff like that, well, you know. Diversion aid force, let's go. And of course all the rest of the characters don't say anything anymore because they're not, they're optional on either side. But Oh well. At least they give... This game does at least a decent amount of job of giving everyone at least a line every once in a while. Other games will just have you f like, like, ignore character interactions after a point. They join your team and they're like, well, we don't have anything else to say for the rest of the game. 
One of the worst in this case is Final Fantasy Tactics because of the fact you can just get rid of characters or make up characters however you want. So any story-related character that joins your team immediately stops having almost little to no interaction in the game. It's, it's kind of disappointing, really. I'm a fan of, of characters interacting with other characters in the games. But General Wei Wan, we lost contact with the recon aircraft. I believe it was shot down by the enemies at Lake Poyang. Where are they now? They're heading to Nanjing again! No change, that enemy squad? No change! Now we know what our enemies are after. What's up, my general? That made you sound like Admiral Akbar there for a second. Please, take a look at this. The Changling army in Nanjing is heading to Huangshan to attack the enemy. Once the battle begins, the Hangzhou battalion will also attack them. General Wei Wan, send the Wulong mercenaries on the mission, just in case. Yes, sir. We'll bury the memory of Ming Huang Zhu once and for all. And it looks like their uh, higher ups are not no complete slouches to uh, to military, but what's the enemy's position? <laughs> the Nanjing Qingli army are heading this way. So they'll probably attack us in Huang Shan. Let's set up a trap. <laughs> You're really into this, huh? Of course. Kazuki needs our help to complete the mission. Oh, then we can just... Uh, if you need any setup or change, like... Actually, really quick, I'm gonna double check and see if Lee had the, uh... Or if Yun or Lee had them. If, if I need to, I can just swap out there. So I did give her some missiles. What does, what does Lee have? Did he have... He didn't have missiles at all, so... I might... Do I want to give her two missiles? Now, Lee does have, uh, have a pretty decent attack, so... Also, I think if you go into network right now, there's a, um, there is some upgrades for some weapons and shields, I believe. Like, there's a higher upgrade for machine guns and a buckler, which just has two more uh, things. But the problem is, is a lot of my builds require me to have, well, not require, but a lot of my builds have items equipped to them. So if I wanted to equip any of that stuff, I would have to, like, readjust, like, everything and give them power backpacks and stuff like that. And, uh... Well, I'm not comfortable enough with my playstyle to not have items for healing and stuff like that, so... Anyway, let's talk to them and get to the next section, so... Tell the main forces we're starting the mission. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Kazuki's girlfriend is quite a fighter. I'm surprised they didn't have her go... Girl... Uh, girlfriend... <laughs> you know, usually that happens in these types of games, but the fact that they're in war, and this is a mature, more mature setting, I'm kind of glad they didn't go into that that kind of conversation. Uh, Quang, does it look like the enemy will fall for the decoy? Yeah, the Nanji uh, Chingli army is heading out to Wang Shan. Emma started the mission. How many enemy forces are left in Nanjing? Less than half, as we expected. We can definitely take Nanjing now. Okay, and we can also set up again for, although really set up just lets us set up any of the characters, so anyway. The decoy squad is doing fine. We should move along now. Let's go. We need to get this done before Emma's squad is in danger. Let's invade Nanjing. Okay. Okay. The main squad will head to Nanjing. Yeah, I think the way the missions are going to go, it's going to go Emma, Kazuki, Emma, Kazuki for the next couple of missions. So, Yeah, we're not quite done yet. I keep saying we're almost done. and Not really. We're just... We're in that stretch that you can tell that we're getting close to the end game, but we still got quite a few missions to go. So it's not like, you know, it's not like, boom, we're done. It's just, you know, anyway. We've got a lot of small missions too. So it's like, I might have to look into maybe trying to get multiple battles into one episode. Just, Cause there are some parts up ahead that are gonna be like, kind of like what happened to Tian Lei, where we're gonna have battles we can beat in like, you know, 12 minutes. So I might just try to have slightly longer episodes and get multiple ones in there or something like that. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when I'll get to that, so. Not that I'm trying to rush the game, I'm just trying to make my recording and everything more efficient. But anyway, we had a scene of them getting on their little little uh, transports on the water. We're going to Huangshan. Although I'm probably completely mispronouncing it, but hey, I'm not a native of China. Don't expect me to pronounce it all correctly. Where the Huan land, rebels? We lost them in Huangshan. We sent out a recon squad. <laughs> this is strange. 
Yeah, their movement, their movement is exactly what we expected. It's almost like a trap. What are you talking about? Do your work before you start complaining. <laughs> sure, it will work. That's why I'm thinking. Sorry, Sergeant, don't you think this is strange? Are you backing out now? That's why I don't trust mercenaries. You're slow, Sergeant. Hey, Rebecca, how would you handle this? If I'm outnumbered, I avoid fighting a large number of enemies. I'd set up a trap and attack the place with the least number of enemies. That seems pretty obvious. So the enemies were aiming for Nanjing? Sergeant, we're going back to Nanjing. Nuts. Are you sure that the enemy is hiding in Nanjing? I don't know for sure. It's just my instinct. That's how we survived. Are you ignoring my orders? We do what we want. Our contract says so. Sergeant Gia, the recon squad found the enemy! Ugh. Rudolph, I'll get you for this! I'll do whatever you want, if you get out of here alive. The Wulong mercenaries will return to Nanjing. Uh-oh, looks like it's going to be tough for Kazuki. He's going to have to deal with the brunt of the forest despite our best efforts. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Wulong mercenaries are more of a... Like, we still fight them in both paths, but if I remember correctly in the Alyssa storyline... Uh, we deal with them on a much more regular basis. Like I think early on in the in the episodes, we deal with them. Like throughout the rest of the that play through. Anyway, I found you. The Wulong are reliable. Their primary force is here. All units, fight the enemy and initiate the attack. Get it with helicopters. Woo! Let's creep. Yeah! This is strange. Stop the attack. You're not doing anything. What the? Uh, how can you tell that from here? Oh, you see the air coming out of him? Eee! It makes whatever that noise is. It looks like that. I can't do it. Uh. Commander, the unit units have run into decoys also. What is the meaning of this? I, I think they're decoys. Are you going to take forever to figure that out? Okay. If we take out the commanding unit, we'll uh, well, up the confusion. And during that confusion, we'll escape from Wong Shan. Commander Shia, the enemy! That's impossible! No, uh, other things are impossible, especially if you see Star Wars, but uh, no, this is improbable. Are you telling me that Rudolph was right? Well, the high hoity-toity mercenary leader, of course he's right. All right. I still don't know why they give you a, a choice of who to choose. It's like, I, I'm going to choose everyone, so. All right. So for this one, for this fight, I think it's going to set... Because I think Chang Li... Now, we've started getting to the fact that more and more enemies are starting to have missiles and grenades. So I'm going to start having my back guys that can shoot from far away to have anti-fire. And I'm going to have into impact for my main my frontline fighters or once I have to get decently close so okay we're good all right let's look at our all oh, right we can't just really all right goes there all right let's look at our environment first of all victory conditions yeah same as always I didn't really expect anything so. All right, mountainous terrain, which means not a whole lot of movement options. Got a couple of helicopters. Let's see. These are Shi Wan sixes with no uh, special defenses, and they have machine guns and missile launchers, so that can be a little annoying. Uh, let's see. She same thing. Same pilots, no skills to speak of. Although most helicopter pilots don't get any. Oh no, we got three of them. Okay, so we got three helicopters. We've got just infantry units with rifles, no skills. Let's see, two of them, same thing. Well, I mean, probably same thing. Yeah. Uh, let's see, is that it for regular two dudes? Okay, so just two two riflers, three helicopters, and let's look at their mechs. Looks like we got four mechs. Yeah, missile launcher is all anti-piercing. Uh, no skills to speak of. See another Leyling? Yep, another Leyling. No skills, anti-piercing. Uh, got a uh, Yonsai 3 with the main commander himself, 
Ju Wenjia with a shotgun and a heavy shield. Yeah, that's the new shield I was talking about. It has it's the same defense as the buckler from before, 70%, but it's got six uses before it goes out. Yeah, I might have to off screen maybe after this episode and the next one. I'm gonna have to like maybe re go through all my mechs and see if I wanna find ways to shave off some uh some weight so I can start pretend so I can get some of the best stuff in the game on me. But anyway, uh let's see. And he's got no skills, anti impact. I assume that guy's another young Sai. Yep. Um uh, Sander Soldier, no so no skills we have to worry about. Alright, so how do we wanna do this? If we go anti-impact, it probably means I want to have like Marcus and uh, and uh, Lee go that way. Maybe have Dennis and uh, the others go this way. I mean, either way, it'd be... Actually, maybe just have... Well, maybe have... Uh... I'm trying to think which directions I want to go here. Yeah, uh... That's a tough one. No, we'll have Lee and Lee and Dennis go down this way, I think. Yeah, we're probably just gonna have a... Uh... Yeah, okay, good. Oh, and it's 100%, so I don't have to worry about possibly missing. Nice. Might move uh, Marcus behind her. Hopefully, maybe they'll tackle her instead. Dennis will have... Looks like he's not far enough to get any moves. Nice. Oh well. Looks like a turn of nothing, but that's fine. You, sometimes you just have to have turns like that. Here they come. Yeah, it does have enemy shield anymore because I wanted to equip him with the best uh, sniper rifle, but... Oh, well, at least Lee has healing, so it's not a big deal. Oh, nice. And she has the buckler, so if her shape doesn't activate, which it didn't, great. What's the point of having that ability? Huh. Oh, well. Why didn't you shoot a missile? Oh, probably his confusion caused too much, uh... uh Damage, I bet. Alright, can we shoot him? Hit him with the rifle here? No, maybe if I move this way. Nope, one more. There we go. Nice, didn't get any skills to unlock, but that's fine. Maybe I should be able to hit him from here? No, nope. Uh, yeah, I'd rather hit him because he has a. Despite them going to be countering me with the. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. That worked for me. There goes one. And then we should be getting another one here in a second with uh, Emma hitting with her missile. Yeah, I can't attack or anything. That's the problem, Marcus. Just pure melee. Let's get that one out of the way. All right, we're not doing too bad so far. Very little damage. Whee. You have friends and family waiting for you back home? Well, too bad, they're dead. Huh, I wonder why they're all going. Oh yeah, I used up all my AP, so I didn't have any. Man, no chafe or anything. Oh, that's not good, hit my left side. That's bad. Now, I gotta remember to always leave at least... Oh, what the heck? I almost never eject them, but they always eject me. Ugh. Um, I'd rather counter with the... that and the shield. I almost took them out completely. Maybe I should have just left Dennis with his, uh, shield on. Yeah, but it's a good thing I used anti-fire, because he's getting hit with all of them. Anyway, yeah, just... Was I not close enough to... 
Yeah, I'd rather just start taking out my position there. Yeah, I I anti anti impact, but that's that's a better priority anyway, so Now that'll leave two though, so Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, nice. It should hit, it was like ninety six percent or something like that. Get a, let's see, he, they left all the missile launchers. Well, not, him, not the main dude, but although he could probably move all the way up here. Oh, well, that'll be fine. He can... Armstrong can take it. Anti-impact armor really helps with those guys. Alright, yeah, we got the shield now. Oh, th thank you for activating. That's the whole reason, whole reason I gave her the the, the computer program that uh, that uh, is supposed to high have, have high activation. You know. Oh, good. Thanks. Hopefully they have blood or left arm. I cross my fingers. Are you kidding me? Oh, screw you! Oh, come on! Now she's worthless. I think, I think Lee technically has a has a restoration, a thing, but he's on the other side of the field. Are you kidding me with those odds? That is stupid. Oh, and yeah, I don't have the. Oh, that's so dumb. God, it almost makes me want to just redo the whole map. That's stupid. Oh, golly. That really pees me off. That is so dumb. Wow, that just ruins a good a whole mission. Uh, why don't you look at Lee? I think Lee does have restore, but he's on the other side of the freaking map. No, he doesn't even have the restore on him. So Emma's worthless for the rest of this fight. I can punch people, and that's it. Wow, game. Wow, that is oh, that is so cheap. It, man, I usually don't get super angry at this game at all like hardly ever and now i am because of that and you're probably like well you should have had a restore item for broken for broken things it was like that was the point of the shield so that arm would get destroyed first you know and conveniently the next two shots take out her arm Ugh. god that really oh that really annoys me like a lot but at least I took out his arm, so he can't missile me anymore. At least with not that dude anyway. But of course, I've still got a, I've still got a, a chopper that can basically hit me as much as they want, you know, with no issues. Yeah, I'll just keep punching him. Stunned? Oh, what the heck, game? You just don't like me, do you? I'm just gonna have to take all those hits from the chopper until they run out of missiles. Wow, I am not a, I am not in a good mood right now. <laughs> it's just a game, I know, but still, doesn't mean I can't be excited or or involved, you know, with my progress. And everything. <sighs> Man, I mean, at least I can heal Miss, and he's still stunned. Do I really need to heal him at this point? No, not really. He's still stunned. I cannot believe that. Let's see, what's that? Is that guy... Alright, no, he can still win. It's just... I believe we still have a good chance, but man. Well, I guess now we'll just waste all of Emma's turns healing Mr. Uh... Mr. Man there. Do I wanna just I shouldn't really take the hits, but Yeah, we'll we'll go. Although he has anti piercing on there or something like that. Yeah, I'll just use MS turn to heal. Heal him. 
God, I can't, what are the odds that they would hit both left arms, both at the same time, and, and destroy her arm? And I'll have Marcus. Might as well just have Marcus beat down this guy since he's the biggest threat. Okay, I wish I could get, uh, uh the double punch that one, but... Oh, that's right, they have shields. Oh well, I just have to... Just have to... Take the hit by being in shotgun range. I have to next turn heal. Well, no, next turn I'll just use buckler, but... Can't get any. Just can't get any abilities to unlock on a. On a. On a uh, Marcus. Oh well. And I'm assuming we're gonna missile. Shouldn't that be the rest of his missiles? Maybe. I have to have... Oh, no, wait, Dennis doesn't have items anymore, does he? No, he... Oh, no, that's just repair max. Um, well, I need to get closer, so... Yeah, better just keep... I might go ahead and heal... Left arm's the one that has the. Well, that could probably take a few hits. Let me. I'm just really trying to decide if I want to. Let me go ahead and heal, I think. And then next turn, we'll. Uh... He's almost... Yeah, Emma's really not much of a healer buff. She was supposed to have missiles just to, you know, like to basically have her keep... Come on, Marcus, activate your abilities. I gave you the, mar uh, the activate ability, you know. Oh, I should have chosen. No, I chose left arm. Never mind. That's best say. Hmm, this is not good. Still have not thought that. Maybe, maybe this is the last one. Oh, thank you. Thank you for uh, activating one of your abilities. That that's the whole purpose of, of being blocked by missiles. You know. Uh, really, I'm just not happy with how the uh, the whole fight's gone in general. Like I said, losing. Although, really, uh, let's see, how many more uses of his shield does he have? Can I even check that? Okay, I got one more use, so that would be just the end of his shield. Oh no, if he gets shotgun, he'll lose that anyway, so. I should just do a regular repair since he's gonna. At least we unlock one thing, at least. Man, I just can't get any of my abilities to unlock for, uh, for him. There goes his arm. I. Might actually lose um, with the uh, with um, or at least with this group because uh, I would have had multiple missiles going, shooting him, blah 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 blah, and then but then oh good now he's almost dead. I might just have to like do a whoops. I didn't do that counter. Wow, 
This sucks. I might just have to redo this whole thing. Yeah, this ain't going too well for me. Alright, I'm just gonna have to redo this whole fight, because it the odds were just stupidly against me. It was it was just dumb. Like her losing her arms, you know. It's man. Alright, I'm gonna make a cut to win. I get back to a similar point. I'm not gonna redo the whole fight and show you that. I'm just gonna get to a part where I'm at a, a decent spot, so uh I'll cut to when I get uh get there. God the odds, man. Alright, I'll see you in a moment. All right, we're back after some time, and uh, I did a little better, and I just beat Gia. There's still two more dudes left, but how could I lose to the likes of you? But some bad things happened, like Marcus got ejected and then got shot by the dude, the, that dude. It, I mean, the shotgun does have a really high chance of, of uh, taking someone out, it's true, but I don't know. It's just, it just seems like the odds are just against me no matter what I do. All right. Well, anyway, I'm having to having to kind of lead this guy towards some uh, people that can help me. With the shield. Yeah, I realized, despite it being the easier path, I seem to just have um, just seem to be having trouble dealing putting down the damage sometimes, which is weird. Oh well. Wait, why are you going that way? You're supposed to you're supposed to chase after like Dennis or someone like that, you know. At least he has boost. That helps a lot. He might be able to kill him with that, so I'll just repair him. So I'll just have to remember off screen to uh to uh um Yeah I wanted I I left M I moved Emma up that way just to have her to help uh help take out the commander dude, although he eventually took out Marcus anyway. No. Um, so, boo to that, I guess. Boo earns to that. Ah, no counter. I'll have to heal up next time, otherwise he's going to be completely taken out. Although I wonder if this was the best part to, to come back to. Oh, maybe I should have came back when like we were at, like, right at the... Uh, no, don't eject. I'm just going to use her to heal this other one. Man, I'm using a lot of, a lot of health in this little section. There we go. Need to, need to start smacking on that guy. That guy hasn't been smacked on in a period, you know. Although it'd be lucky if we took out his arms, so that way we wouldn't have to mess with him. Should be able to take him out now now that uh, dude is at least somewhat Yeah, shield has shield's gone, so we don't have to worry about him blocking stuff. I think we might be having Well, we definitely have a better time of four. I didn't... Uh, well, okay. But we did have Emma lose her arm at the freaking beginning of the fight. Ugh, that was just... That was just painful. I don't know. It was just... It was ridiculously painful for what it was. I need his arm, though. I need it. Yeah, left arm. I always keep forgetting, like, which arm is I need to have out and that type of thing. Well, it doesn't guarantee a hit, but it'll guarantee my life. Well, I, I guess I need his legs to be destroyed. I, I don't know about that, but... Oh really? Man. All right, I'll, I'll take the t I'll take the chance. Oh, he's almost gone too. Ah oh, man, don't it? Ah, oh, I moved just enough to not have a counter. Oh, there goes legs. Man, we are not doing as well as I thought. Maybe. I don't well, I did. S at least I saved it at the beginning of the fight. So if I. Uh, um, if something happens again, I'll just, uh, um, maybe we'll get lucky. But if something happens again, I can just do it off screen. Man, this, this fight should not be that hard. 
Like, really, it shouldn't be. Like, uh, I should not be having trouble with it. I should just be able to beat them. Boom. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna have to take a chance with this and just hopefully he, uh, hits them in the head. There we go. Man! This fight's going on a lot longer than it should have. I guess I gave uh, Emma and her crew too much credit, you know. I keep hoping that he's gonna miss with one of his missiles. At least I can take one more hit to the chest. Uh, yeah, I am definitely not getting a platinum for this one, that's for sure. I'm taking way too many punks to the face. And inconsistent damage is not helping either. And we're all too really far away to help. I guess I just chose the wrong crew for this, I think. And there goes his arm, which is fine. I don't... Although I'm gonna... Oh, that's right, he doesn't have any legs anymore. He boosted that, so he can't, uh, he can't really boost, so... Oh, well. God, hit him consistently, game! God! <laughs> I don't have any. I might have to look into maybe start buying. Because um, I think Yoon has a. Uh, has a. Uh, um, like, uh, like actual repair. Like, uh, like armament repair or whatever it is. So. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, I, I, I can do that. Alright, now we can tag team. Hopefully. Thank you. Yeesh. That could just work on his mech or something. Like but it's just gonna get into it again, so I'm just gonna hit the button. All right. Hopefully, Kazuki's fight goes off a lot better. Yeah, I ejected him, but I'm, you know, I'd rather keep working on the mech. There we go. Oh, man! At least it's better than the previous version of this fight where Emma loses his arm that quickly. Man, I did not do very well in this fight. It's like back in, what was it, like Fight 20 where I got a bronze where I was like almost completely decimated. Yeah, hell. Yeah, I got a, I didn't even want to show you my stats. Let's just say I got a bronze and be done with it. Man, that sucks. And that's supposed to be one of the easier of the fights. This is Kula Base, engineering unit, please respond. This is Zuwin, I hear you. The enemies are baffled by the decoys. It's time, ditch the decoys and pull out. That's what she said. We're done already? You can't escape Huang Shan and meet up in Nanjing in the confusion. Or you can die with the decoys. Harsh, Emma. No thank you, I think I'll pass on that. Then hurry, we have to run before they reach you. I guess I could have technically reloaded to when I won the fight, but I don't know. I felt like you needed to watch me suffer and then find out why I got a bronze in that fight. But how is Kazuki doing? Will he be able to take on the full force of, of the, uh, or, well, actually, he's not taking on the full force at the point. That, but can he fight the force that's there? But what about Rudolph, the wild card? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.